What is up you guys? Steve here and welcome to another video. Honestly guys, this was a little bit of a spontaneous trip me and my wife Sarah decided to do, but we are currently in a very, very cozy cabin somewhere in Montana. As you guys can see, I got a warm fireplace here right behind me and I got some bacon sizzling not too far away. We just made some coffee and it's gonna be a great day. plan during our stay here is basically to just enjoy each other's company and relax here at the cabin. The weather is not really working up in our favor. The next few days are supposed to be rainy and windy, but we're also planning on getting out and enjoying and fly fishing in the Montana rivers a little bit. So we'll take you along for that adventure. A bit rainy out. Oh well, got to make the best of it. Well, you guys, we spent a good portion of the morning inside the cabin. It is actually almost noon now, but it was rainy, it was snowy, it was really cozy in the cabin. We didn't want to get out. We decided we don't want to drift today. Um, we don't want to take the drift boat out. And you guys already know how to go in here without my coffee. We decided to go up and head up for a creek. It is a very dear place to you guys. You guys have seen multiple videos if you've been following the channel. So we are just a bit north of Missoula right now. It's a very short drive to Phillipsburg. Then we're gonna take the Rock Red Road basically back to Rock Creek and see if we can just do some weight fishing and catch some fish. Because honestly guys, in this weather, it's we have about 30 mile an hour winds. It's raining, we don't really wanna take the boat out. So that's kind of the plan. It'll be a nice little drive. And town of Phillipsburg is just fun. These views right here, you guys, is the main reason I like to come out to Montana. You guys just look around us, it's just absolutely beautiful. Even though it's a little foggy today. All right, you guys, well, we made it to the river. As you guys can see, I got Rock Creek here behind me, and honestly, it's kind of weird being here this time of year. I'm used to fishing this in the summer, and I expected this the flows to be actually a lot higher, but they're really low. It's flowing about four, 450 right now, so it's very weightable, so we're gonna try and get back there to one of the honey holes that we like to stop at when we um, float it, so see if we can fish it by foot. And Sarah just hooked up, you guys. Let me get my net out. It's deeper than it looks in here for me to get in there. Nicely done. Nicely done. It's a beautiful fish too. Look at that thing. That's awesome. <laughs> nice work. Cool. That's a really nice cutty. Let's go. <laughs> Nicely done here. <laughs> Is that your first fish of this year, fly fishing? Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Well, you guys, I literally just said, let's pack it up. Let's move it out. We're not catching the fish. Sarah throws on a dry fly and I'm like, you're not going to catch fish during dry flies right now. It's too early in the year. Pitches that out there, boom, first cast. Gets a nice cutty on. And one more thanks to the guys from the measure net for sending us this awesome net. It is the first fish that we've netted with this net, so kind of cool. You guys, check them out. I'll leave the link below. The measure net. You guys, I swear to God, I can't walk away from this one and she catches a fish every time I do. I walked away for two seconds to re-rig and she's got another one on. So you guys can see what she's trying to do here. As you guys see that fast water over there, She's trying not to horse him, but she's trying to keep him out of that fast water because if he goes in there, he'll probably come off. The beautiful thing is once you catch one fish, the rest are just fun. Nicely done. That was a horrible net job. <laughs> Let's go. There you guys go. My first fish at Rock Creek this year, a little earlier than normal. Let's let him go. Maybe we'll catch him in a few more months. 
Oh. Yeah. They ah. Uh. All right, you guys, well, we had a killer time here at the first spot. Basically, guys, it's starting to rain again pretty hard, so we're gonna use this opportunity to try and change spots, and hopefully by the time we get there, it stops raining again. And what we're using today is March Browns. That's where we're catching fish on. It's a very famous hatch here in Rock Creek. Early spring, you get the squala and the March Brown hatch, and that's what the fish are see seeming to be keying in on, even though it's kind of cloudy and not really dry fly weather. I think they know what time of year it is, and it's working. Also use this opportunity as a lunch snack. As you guys can see, there's some deer over there in the field, so wildlife is always fun to see here too. There's usually plenty of it here. We've seen bear here in the past, it's kind of cool. We like to see him from the truck. Well, you guys, I've been trying to catch fish for another hour or so now. As you guys can see, it's just absolutely pouring rain now. I'm pretty soaked, and since the rain really started pouring, the fish just completely shut down. I don't think they really want to cooperate anymore, but still trying to enjoy the day. You got to make, you got to make the best of what Mother Nature throws at you. So there's still beauty in it. Well, you guys, now we've switched to a complete blizzard. It went from hail, as you guys can see, we're on the road back to our cabin we're staying at, and it's just absolute blizzard out here. I'm going about 10 miles an hour because I can't really see anything. It's just kind of cool. We love this kind of weather, especially when you're staying at a cozy cabin, and it's just a very neat experience. Well, as you guys saw, we had absolutely wonderful time hanging out at this cozy little cabin. By the way, that's actually the name of this cabin. The person that owns it calls it the cozy cabin. So it is definitely very cozy. And I'm kind of glad we got to experience it while it was snowing outside. It was just a very neat evening. As you guys can see, I'm cozied up next to a little fireplace. We had some wonderful dinner. We actually made some shepherd's pie and an iron kiss kill it. It just seemed fitting given the scenario. And for now, that being said, you guys, as always, thank you for coming along this adventure. We're just going to relax and enjoy the evening. And as you guys already know, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.